Hello students, let me ask you a question. If somebody asks you, what is your weight? And if you say, just 50. So like, you have given the complete answer. What more you need to give to make your answer perfect? So that extra information that you need to give is what? So let's discuss about that. And in this video, we'll see what is unit, what is meant by unit, and what are the different system of expressing these units. Okay, so let's start with the presentation. Now let's understand the concept of standards and units. So we'll discuss in this what is standard and what is units. The physical quantities, physical quantities are expressed in terms of fundamental quantities. Okay, so physical quantities are expressed in terms of fundamental quantities. So what are these fundamental quantities? Fundamental quantities are defined by the measurements and expressed by standards. Okay, so fundamental quantities are defined by measurements and expressed by standards. So what are measurements then? Measurements are a comparison with a standard. Okay, so the standards are defined and universally accepted by the competent authority. So these standards are defined, they are defined and they are also universally accepted by the competent authority. So now let's discuss what is meant by unit. Okay, so let's understand more about it. So unit is any standard measure which is used to express a physical quantity. The any standard measure which is used to express a physical quantity is known as a unit. Okay, so these are the three important characteristics of the units. One is the convenient size, which is not too large and which is not too small. And this unit is also universally followed and it is, it is invariable with the physical conditions. That means it's not going to be varied depending upon the conditions. Though the conditions are varied, the unit is not going to be changed. So that's why it is called, it is invariable with physical conditions. Okay, so let's discuss more about it. So now let's first understand what is meant, what, what are meant by fundamental units and what are meant by derived units. So first in this, we'll see what is a fundamental, what are fundamental units. The fundamental units are used to express the fundamental quantities which are not expressed in any other form. So the units which are used to express the fundamental quantities, okay, so which are not expressed in any other form. So examples if you take mass, m, length, l, time, t. So these three are the fundamental units which are used to express the fundamental quantities. And so then what are derived units? What are derived units? So derived units are those units which are expressed in terms of the fundamental units. So remember the derived units are expressed in terms of the fundamental units. That means they are expressed in terms of mass, length and time. Example, if you take area, volume and speed. Area is, it is meter square. That is the length of the square. So it is expressed in terms of length. Volume is also expressed in terms of length. Speed, which is also, ex which is expressed in terms of length and time. So these three units, if you say example, are expressed in terms of the fundamental units that are mass, uh, length and time. Okay, so let's discuss more about this derived units. So derived units, so let's see some of the physical quantities. Uh, area is a physical quantity, uh, the relation with other basic quantities. So how this area is expressed in terms of the fundamental quantities, that is the, it is the length square, L square. So length is meters, length is measured in meters. So it is, it is having SI units, meter square. Similarly, volume, volume is the length cube that is L cube. So it is having units meter cube. Similarly density. What is density? Density is mass per unit volume that is mass by volume. So that mass is kg and volume is what? Volume is length, length cube. So it is meter cube. So it is kg per meter cube is the density. So the speed is other physical quantity uh, which is which whose units are derived from the fundamental units. So the speed is the distance traveled per unit time. So it is the length divided by time. That is the length is measured in meters 
divided by the time is in seconds. So it is meter per second. Similarly, acceleration, which is meter per second square. So these are the units which are derived from the fundamental units. And yeah, density. Density is what? The mass of the sample by volume of the sample. So it is mass by volume, which, which has the units kg per meter cube. Okay. So yeah, uh, these are the some of the physical quantities which are derived from the, the basic quantities. The force. Force is what? Mass into acceleration. So it is product of mass into acceleration. Mass is measured in kgs. Acceleration is a derived unit which is meter per second square. So force is kg meter per second square in SI units and which is simply known as Newton that is denoted by capital N. Similarly pressure. So pressure is what? Pressure is force per unit area. So it is force divided by area. Okay. So which is measured in Pascals. Similarly energy. Energy is what? It is a product of force into distance traveled. Force into distance traveled L. Okay. So force is kg meter per second square. Kg meter per second square into the distance traveled into S. Sorry into M. Okay. So this is expressed in joules. Okay. So these are some, some other derived units. Now let us see the system of units the system of units. So we have different system of units. One is FPS in which this F, F means it is foot, P means pound, S means second. Okay. So these are the three, uh, it is a system in which that mass is expressed. Mass, we have three fundamental quantities, mass and other is length and the third one is time. So time is expressed in seconds foot. Foot is the length is expressed in foot and mass is expressed in pound. Okay. So this is one system of units. What is FPS and second one is CGS. CGS that means C for centimeter, the C for centimeter, the G per gram and S for second. Okay. So this is a other system in which that uh, length is expressed in centimeters and mass is expressed in grams, the time is expressed in seconds. So we have one more system that is MKS. In MKS, the mass is expressed in kgs. Instead of grams, we express that mass in kgs and so mass is expressed in kgs, length is expressed in meters, the time is expressed in seconds. Okay. So in all the, these three systems, the time is expressed in seconds only but on but the mass and length are expressed in different units. So it is FP, CGS and MKS where M is for meter, K is for kg, S is for second. Okay. So these are the three system of units and we have one more system that is a modified version of the MKS system. So it is a modified form of MKS system that is known as SI system, SI system. So in SI system, in MKS system, we have only three fundamental quantities. One is mass, length and time. But in SI system, we have, we have more four fundamental units and those are Kelvin, Candela, Ampere and Mole. They are also expressed as fundamental units in which the Kelvin is used to measure, it is used to express the temperature and Candela is for the luminous intensity and ampere is for current and mole is for the quantity of matter. Okay. So the difference between MKS and SI is in MKS we have only three fundamental quantities mass, length and time but in SI additional to these three fundamental quantities we have four more fundamental quantities that are taken in SI system. So temperature, uh, luminous intensity, current as well as the quantity of matter. Okay. So these four more fundamental quantities we have in SI system. So yeah, SI system, it is an international system of units, which is, a, we have seven basic quantities, length, mass, time, current, temperature, luminous intensity and amount of the substance. And yeah, this is the name of the SI units, mass, kilogram, second, these are the names of the SI units. And these seven are the symbols of the SI unit in which we already know three symbols that is mass and this is sorry this is length mass and this is time 
these three fundamental quantities but this a capital a is for ampere it is a symbol of ampere the current and k is kelvin which is used to express the temperature and cd is for candela that is the luminous intensity and uh, mole mole is it is the si symbol of the amount of the substance so this is about the si system okay the si system and we discussed about the the three other system of units uh, fps cgs and mks okay and we discussed about what is units what are fundamental units and what are what are derived units so students in this particular part we discussed about what is meant by unit and what are derived units what are fundamental units and we also discussed about the system of units we discussed about cgs system mk system fps system and si system okay so this is all we discussed in this particular part so if you see uh, in our chemistry we use one term very repeatedly right that is called matter so what is this matter and how many ways we can classify this matter so to know about more to know more about matter stay tuned for my next video